autumn is just around the corner. And at least in Germany, this means it will get cold and more depressing outside. So I thought, why not bring you something that is warm, rich and creamy? Obviously, I'm not talking about a pumpkin spice latte. I'm talking about the Master Sounds 2 valve, a rotary style DJ mixer from Master Sounds. Before Corona, I used to DJ quite a lot. And one of my most favorite DJ mixers came from Alan and Heath, namely the Zone 92. Uh, I used to DJ with CDJs and Traktor, and even though I love the workflow of having as much tracks that, that I want, literally, uh, I found out that the sound wasn't what I was looking for. It was too sterile, and especially when you play MP3s. Yeah, I know, shocking. Um, even though everything fits perfectly together, it wasn't at some point not very musical. And you could argue at the end, this is not really interesting because the audience won't hear that in a club. That is true. But I was DJing like six, seven hours straight, even sometimes 10 hours. And to have something that would keep me motivated in DJing was very important for me. So the DJ mixer played a major role in my setup. So it's not like a trivial thing. If you think about it, a DJ mixer is the thing that you use to work with the music that you have at hand. Because the DJ mixer plays such an important role in your DJ setup, many DJs will start to look for better alternatives apart from the mainstream solutions. That doesn't mean that mainstream is bad. I mean, obviously, um, the DJM series from Pioneer is very, very uh, popular amongst DJs, but that doesn't mean that one solution fits all DJs. And rotary mixers are for electronic music DJs uh, the holy grail in some parts because um, I know many people that just love to work like really smooth um, blends between tracks and rotary mixers give you that. And the Master Sounds 2 valve was not only interesting for me because it, it has the DNA from a rotary mixer, meaning like a master EQ and isolator, but it also has like three EQ bands for each channel. And also one thing that I really enjoyed was the fact that Andy Rigby Jones, the guy who designed the Zone 92, was also uh, the guy behind the Master Sounds 2 valve. Let's talk about the design and the features of the Master Sounds 2 valve. You have the quite traditional design now from a normal DJ style mixer, meaning you have three bands and you have your trim control, which is quite unusual for rotary mixers if you think about it. Most rotary mixers uh, won't have a trim control. They will have just like a, the maximum volume at the far right from the rotary knob. Um, and it's also like ha has three bands, which I really enjoy again, because that gives me like a really fast way of changing the sound that I'm used to know from like the Zone 92 and the DG uh, DGM series. <laughs> It's minus 20 to plus 6 dB cut and boost, um, which is like interesting because it's not like a full kill EQ style EQ. So it's it's more like shaping the sound and not like really isolating everything. Um, that's what's happening on, you guessed it, 
the master EQ slash isolator. And that has like infinite to plus 12 dBU. And the sound of this isolator is just, I wish, I, I wish master sounds would come up with a standalone version of the isolator, uh, just because the sound is so warm and so creamy and the way it, you start to mix and blend sounds is just lovely. I, I adore this isolator. Very musical. Um, the other thing is that you have a auxiliary or an auxiliary scent on the top of each channel. So you can integrate an external hardware effect, which is also quite cool and not very common amongst rotary style DJ mixes. Apart from that, you have your cue controls, um, you have a crossfader. Uh, I don't use a crossfader, I'm not a DJ for hip hop. Uh, even though I play sometimes hip hop, but most of the time I um, I play electronic music and soul and funk, so I really just use the rotary style uh, uh, faders, let's say, and then I'm just just good. Um, you have a master output, of course, and a booth output, and you have your control for your phones and for the Q signal, which is like blending between the mix and just like the Q signal, and you can also split um, between the left and the right speaker, the signal, the, the Q signal and the signal that is um, apparent on the master output. And that's it really. So why would you go for something like the two valve? Uh, I have to say it is first and foremost the sound. Andy Rigby Jones did a magnificent job with this because as you can probably uh, guess from the name, it also has valves in it. And these really start to uh, give the whole sound a very, very musical texture. Uh, it's very warm, it's very rich. Um, it, it sounds absolutely crazy. Uh, the phono preamps are to die for. Listening to vinyl on these just is a joy. I, I, I guess it's not like fully linear, it gives some saturation, but I don't care. Uh, it, the way it sounds is just lovely. Um, I will play you some demos. Um, because of YouTube copyright infringements, I won't play any major tracks from vinyl. Sorry, I couldn't do that, but I will play some of my tracks or some loops, and then I will, uh, then you can decide for yourself uh, if you like the original or the sound that is coming from the master sounds. So all in all, the Master Sounds 2 Valve is a magnificent mixer. It just makes fun to blend between tracks with the rotaries. The Master Isolator is to die for. 
uh, I would love to have it on the road. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't play any gigs with it because of Corona. That's a shame, but sitting at home, listening to some good old vinyl um, and just to record some stuff with it and to, to use it as sort of like a saturation unit, it was just, the, it was just amazing. So thank you so much. If you have any questions, write them down in the comment section below and I see you in the next video.